If you ask Paula Deen to review her professional resume, she'll proudly tell you she's not a certified chef. As she explained it herself, I'm a cook. I've never been to school. I graduated from my grandmother Paula's kitchen. But decades into her award-winning career, Dean is a culinary legend all the same, and there is no doubt that she sure knows her way around a kitchen. The Southern cuisine connoisseur and TV personality can deep-fry just about anything, turn Twinkies into a gourmet dessert, and use more butter in her recipes than you ever thought possible. Of course, if you've watched her shows, checked out her YouTube channel, or read her cookbooks, you know that Dean can and will cook with just about anything, from green tomatoes to alligators. Yep, you heard that right. Gators. Got my gator meat! Still, it turns out there is one ingredient that you'll never find tucked away in her kitchen. In an exclusive interview with Mashed, Dean dished on the kitchen staple that she'd never put in any of her recipes, and no surprise, it's butter's worst enemy. I'm fixing to talk about the number one thing that inspires me. And if you know me, you know that it's butter. As fans already know, Dean makes no secret of her lifelong love of butter. There's nothing better, and there's certainly no substitute for it. She says, I love butter. Don't touch margarine, but I do love me some real butter. She added, From what I understand, margarine was originally designed for uses in the mechanics world, and then it was changed around some to make it edible. And it appears Dean is onto something. While margarine, as we know it today, was technically invented to be a cheaper fat substitute for human consumption. According to National Geographic, French scientist Michel Eugène Chevrel, who first developed margaric acid, was actually looking for ways to make better soaps and candles. Margaric acid was then used by another French chemist and inventor to create the margarine we now see on the shelves. Even so, the beef tallow spread didn't go over so well. In fact, when it was first introduced in the United States, there were political cartoons depicting margarine being made with all sorts of non-foods like paint and rubber boots. In reality, margarine is far from natural and can only be made through a chemical process, usually hydrogenation. Just a little tad of butter. But beyond the historical science on it, Dean claims that if you're gonna indulge, there's a much better way to do it. She said, I think if we're going to eat that type of fat, let it be real and natural. For Paula, that means using real butter, which is made directly from the fatty parts of cow's milk. To contrast that, today's margarine is made with highly processed vegetable oils designed to mimic the rich, savory butter taste. According to Dean's logic, there is a clear winner, basically sent down from heaven above. As only she could put it, God made the cow and the cow made the butter, so it can't be too bad. Before it's over, I'm gonna have that whole stick gone, I promise y'all. It's also worth noting that newer science, as reported by Harvard Medical School, suggests that butter may even be a better option than margarine, which can be packed with dangerous trans fats depending on the brand. And at the end of the day, Dean also prefers the taste of the real thing to margarine, adding that butter's unmistakable flavor just can't be beat. When it comes to using it in dishes, she also has a handy tip. She says, Sometimes, and I'm sure everybody knows this trick, use equal amounts of butter and olive oil. The olive oil will keep the butter from burning, but you still get that butter flavor. If you're sautéing a piece of fish, you can use a little butter and olive oil. Put butter on everything. You can catch Paula Deen and probably some more butter on season 11 of MasterChef Legends on Fox. Don't try to be something that you're not. Be yourself. Yes, ma'am. And if anybody says no to you, keep going. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite celebrity chefs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.